Can somebody answer this question for me? Because clearly, I must, I, clearly it's me, okay? Explain yourself. Clearly it's me. What does it mean when somebody say, dang, you is pretty for a big girl, or dang, you look good for a big girl? I really, truly want somebody to explain that to me. Do you really want to know? What does that mean? Like, what does that mean? For my big folks, for my men out there, explain that line to me because clearly I'm lost. Like, <laughs> can't well, to be perfectly honest with you, when people say that to you, they're saying that you're beautiful and you might have a great spirit and I like who you are as a person, but you're overweight. You're out of shape. It shows that you don't have any discipline. Engage. When I see a beautiful woman and she spent all this time on her makeup and she's done all these things and she's an overweight woman, the first thing I say to myself is, wow, she put a lot of effort into her face and her clothes but where's the effort into her physical activity? Where is the commitment to that? When a guy is considering a woman, let's say she looks like she's what, 20 something years old, early 20s, you know what I'm saying? If a guy is considering her for marriage to have children, he thinks about that. Okay, where's the discipline to that? What is she going to teach my children if she doesn't even have that commitment and that discipline for herself? Makes sense, don't it? You can be very, very beautiful. Um, you could have the best clothes and all of that, and you can, you know, be a very nice person. But that doesn't mean that you're healthy. It doesn't mean that you have commitment to that. So a lot of men think about that. We're forced to think about that. You know, unfortunately, there's a lot of women that don't think about the consequences of their actions. Now, she looked like, like I said, she's in her 20s, right? She's not thinking about the consequences, the health risks associated if she tries to have children. Um, in the same way that you have a lot of women that uh, get to 35 years old and say, well, now I wanna have children. They're not necessarily thinking about the fact that that's a high risk pregnancy. The bottom line is that you just cannot roll around doing whatever it is you want to do and not thinking of not looking at the whole picture. You know, if it, whatever plan you're trying to set for yourself, if you want to have children, you should be healthy, right? That that's a given, right? If you want to have children as a woman, you only have so much time. You should not wait forever because the longer you wait, the more risk you have. But a lot of people won't be honest about this question. And I'm glad I saw this video and I'm trying my best not to be insensitive and, and just be honest about the situation. But when you hear men say that, that is exactly what men are thinking. And, and a lot of times women will say that too, but it, it kind of has a different thing. What do you mean by that? A lot of times what women will do is they will cheerlead and they will tell a woman, oh girl, you go girl, that's your truth. That's the best thing. And they will say, you look great. Don't let nobody else tell you differently. You're great. You look great to be a big girl. Own your truth, girl. But as a woman, what you need to understand about other women is that other women are always in competition with you. Other women are always envious of you. And it's very hard for a lot of women to give you actual, honest, critical advice, especially when it comes to anything about your body and relationships. <laughs> women. You have to understand that. But a lot of times women will just listen to other women. But I'm glad she put this video and she asked, you know, men, bigger people, whoever, what is, you know, what's this about? This is what it's about. It's about the commitment to yourself. You have to want that. Stop listening to people say you can be four or five, 600 pounds. That's your truth. Be happy and all that. That is unhealthy and you're putting yourself at risk. That is the bottom line. But you guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. Again, I know I'm going to get a whole bunch of comments here, there, from the right, from the left, whatever it is. But I want to know what you guys think about this, especially my men out there. Um, thanks a lot for watching this video. Make sure to like uh, this video and subscribe to my channel. I always appreciate you. And with that said, have a great day. Peace. May the force be with you.